Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program with Creekbot. Today we're going to be looking at subassemblies, more specifically uh, features that you can use subassemblies for for quick rocket construction. So let's go ahead and get started here. And for most subassemblies you do want to have something to control the rocket. And we're using an adapter plate here for our remote control. And this is required because you can't take the command modules or the, the pilots, basically, in the game and save their capsules in the subassemblies. Let's go ahead and over to our subassemblies tab. And we've already created a couple different items here that we can take a look at real quick for ease of use. And we have a basic communication satellite here. And let's go ahead and grab our decoupler and put it on. And then we'll drop that in. Now, we just dropped in this multiple part item, which is nine parts, right onto our remote control. Command uh, capsule there. And we just put it on there. It's already pre-designed, ready to go. Now, if you have a standard, say, lander or anything like that, you can use this method to make it a lot quicker for you, and you don't have to recreate it every time. Um, and also, you don't have to, say, grab a previous rocket from your uh, load folder here and then rip off the bottom half if you're trying to get more power to the rocket to get it to say another planet. Um, if we grab the small lifter we can oops, we can grab the small lifter drag that on real quick and now we have a multi-stage rocket ready to go. Now the one thing you do want to watch here is as you can see off to the right you see both these engines are on the same and the decouplers are on the same. So what you'll find is where you connect your rocket up, you can see off to the right here that the stages are not set properly. So you have to go in, change them out, and get everything configured properly. So you got your engine there, your split midway, your next engine, which is part of that commsat, and then your last decoupler, which we wouldn't really need on this because we don't have a Kerbal to bring back. But nonetheless, it's there anyways. But as you can see, once you correct it, you're good to go. Everything below that is perfectly fine and in order. It's just the part above it that gets kind of disconnected on the order. And we can see that here on the medium also. It's out of sync at the top. So just make sure you correct the top stages that are right above the subassembly here. And this is actually a six stage outer liquid booster. One stage in the middle there at the bottom, another stage in the middle, and then the commsat. So it's a multi-stage rocket ready to go. And all the connectors connect up without any issues. It automatically loads all that. And we can see that we can also do that with a more advanced item. So we went from 18 pieces on the small, 54 on the medium, and 90 on the large. Now the large one here is a little more complicated with the fuel lines and everything. So it doesn't have to be symmetrical. It'll save whatever you want to drag into the subassembly other than a control module of any type. So you can see there we are able to drag it on and drop it. And you can do this for, say, your control module, your lander, um, you can even add a, a satellite piece in between if you're going to drop a satellite around a planet or a moon um, before you take your lander in. And then you can also put your lifter below that as a module. Now let's take a look here at another feature that you can use that is very helpful in rocket construction. And we're going to grab another decoupler. So this is just a basic rocket we're going to build here. Nothing too fancy, just for demonstration purposes. We'll grab an engine, just sit it on there. And if we go back to subassemblies, I've created Booster 1. Now, what Booster 1 does is it is a liquid fueled engine that has a decoupler on it that is where you dragged it to the subassembly zone. So you can build one of these, drag it to some assemblies and save it, just like you would a lifter. So it doesn't have to be a complete package. It can be just part of your system. And when you put it onto the rocket, what you're going to find is we just connected it up. And this one's glitching a little bit, but nonetheless, 
you get the idea. It automatically connects everything up. So you can see we built that with just those boosters on the side of whatever package we had in the middle of our payload. You can actually just do this repeatedly on your rocket, grab another one, and we can drop it on there like that. So you just keep on building out. So you can actually use subassemblies for more advanced designs, quicker builds, and less hassle when you create something such as asparagus staging or say you create a package like a booster and you just don't want to rebuild it on a new rocket you can just grab it from your sub assemblies drop it on and you're good to go there's no hassle there at all like I said the only thing you just have to watch out for is the staging as you can see it's getting a little confusing there so after you use sub assemblies currently in point two two check the staging if you have any questions or comments put them below also hit the like button if you can let us know that you do like what we're doing and until next time, keep your eyes on the sky.